Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but today I'm going to be showing you how to work with USM files, which is a common file type found in video game movies um, such as The Witcher 2 and The Witcher 3. Alright, so to get started, I'm going to be showing you how to extract and convert USM files to a more common format such as MP4s. And here there's a piece of software called VGM Toolbox. Now VGM Toolbox is a collection of tools for working with and modifying video game files. And um, as you can see, it's relatively outdated. Um, last update was nearly four years ago. Um, so people have been taking certain tools and updating and modifying them. And here you can see that someone's done that with the USM tools. And they've created a GitHub repository called USM Toolkit. And this is great, um, but the only problem is that it's also a little bit old. Its last update was over a year ago. So what I've done is I've cloned it to my own Git repository and I've made some updates and modifications to bring it more up to date. And I have a CI set up so that every time I tag it, it'll um, build and release all the zip files for many different platforms. So the main thing that this piece of software can do is it can extract and convert. And when you're extracting, there are no dependencies. You can just run the software. But while converting, you're going to want FFmpeg. Um, which I won't be covering in this video because it's relatively easy to install, but you'll want to make sure it's above version 4.4 because that's what works best with the audio files that um, this tool creates. So now to get started, you're going to want to download and extract whichever zip file fits with your platform. And I'm on Windows X64 right now because I think that's what most people will be on at the moment. So uh, I have... Um, already extracted it and I have it open in file explorer and as you can see there are these different um, files and this is the main executable file and this config.json is the ffmpeg parameters when you use the convert command okay so to demonstrate how to use the software I'm gonna be um, extracting from uh, a USM file from the Witcher 2 which is the outro and to run it all you have to do is open up a command prompt and cd into that directory and if I list it, you can see that here we have all the files and I'm going to go ahead and run the software. And to do that, you just type in usmtoolkit.exe. They either extract or convert. I'm going to start it with extract just so I can demonstrate the functionality. And then you're going to want to go ahead and type the name of the file. And as you can see, it's going to be demuxing. It's going to give you these files and eventually it's just going to settle down to the ADX and M2V. And the M2V is just the video and ADX is just the audio. So if I go ahead and run the M2V, you can see that it's just video, no audio, and if I run the ADX, it's just audio, no video. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the convert command, which will combine them using uh, parameters specified in config.json. So I'm going to go ahead and run the same thing I did last time, except replace the uh, extract with convert, and then outro.usm. And as you can see, it's going to demux it again, and then it's going to go ahead and run ffmpeg and then at the end you're going to have a nice little mp4 file which is a combination of both so as you can see we fully converted the usm file to an mp4 file so to get started with encoding the regular video files back to usm files you're going to want to head over to the witcher nexus page um, to the scale form video encoder which i'll have linked in the description so here there are two files there's version 4.6.33 and version 4.0 and version 4.633 has a couple more features but i have version 4.0 extracted and saved to my desktop already so i'm going to go ahead and as you can see i have it open here on my desktop as scale form ve and i also have this um this rise of the white wolf mp4 file which i want to replace the intro to the witcher 3 with and I'm going to go ahead and show you this video real quick. So it's just uh, a standard um, MP4 file. And I'm going to go ahead and convert it to an AVI so that we can use it with the skill from Video Encoder. And to convert um, something to an MP4 using FFmpeg so that it works with the skill from Video Encoder, you're going to want to run this command. So FFmpeg-I, then your input file. Um, and then you want to make sure that the audio codec dash C colon A is PCM underscore s16le because otherwise it's not going to encode to a usm properly and i also added this q scale v0 to make sure that it uh, preserves all the quality because if you don't keep that um parameter it'll uh, end up making your avi very blocky so um i'm going to move this to the scale form video encoder folder and here you can see it's right there and i'm going to go ahead and convert it and now we have uh, rise of the white wolf and it looks exactly like the MP4, and it works exactly like the MP4. 
and now we're going to go ahead and launch the skill from video encoder and now you can see what i was talking about with it requiring avi files it'll only show avi files so we're going to go ahead and select the rise of the white wolf.avi and there are tons of other options here you can add cue point files subtitle text files and those are all documented on the autodesk skill form website so i'm not going to go over those uh just right now and you want to go ahead and encode it and now it's going to encode it to the same folder it's going to create some files it's going to create a bat file it's going to create some temporary files and then um it's going to go ahead and take a couple um seconds to minutes depending on how long your video is and it's going to finish um encoding and once it's finished encoding i'm going to go ahead and replace the video um so as you can see now it's encoded i'm going to go ahead and replace this bumpers file in the witcher 3 folder so you go to the witcher 3 content content zero movies cutscenes game start bumpers and you can see there's a bumpers.usm these are the bumpers that are shown on the first launch or on every launch um at the beginning when you launch the witcher 3 and now i'm going to replace it with this All right, so now I have that file there, and I'm going to go ahead and launch The Witcher 3. And now you can see that it's playing the file that we just selected. Now that you've gone through all the steps in this video, hopefully you should be able to work with and modify USM files. And if you have any issues, please don't forget to let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you have anything to say or if you have any helpful suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like or subscribe.